It's your boy King Buzz back with those exclusives. Welcome to the channel where we make no excuses. Shout out all artists, engineers, and producers, and I'm back with another video. Yeah, I know what's going on today. I'm bringing y'all something different. I ain't never did this, but it's the first time for everything, and I think it's gonna be a good, you know, kind of like way to gauge my growth, like you know, a good way to measure how far I've came. You know what I mean? So. Risk It All featuring KD For Real. King Buzz Risk It All featuring KD For Real. It's out right now on all streaming platforms. It's on YouTube, on my artist channel. Y'all know how it go. I'm dropping a song every Monday, and that's the song that dropped today. You know what I mean? I don't know if I'm putting this video out today. It might be the day after, so the song came out yesterday, or it came out today. You know, based on what day it is, you know what I'm talking about. All right, so, but what I'm going to do is I recorded this song. I created this song. Um, I'm going to give you an idea of when this song was created. I just know this song is nowhere near new. I've had this song for a very long time. All right, so the song was created. Like I said, <laughs> this song was made in 2019. There's no cap in my rap. I've been telling people that, like, and like, yo, I, I rock with him. I'm like, bro, I, I, we made that song in 2019. It's 2022. It just came out, but that's how much music I just be having laying around. It's kind of ridiculous, right? So this song was made in 2019. The way I mix and master is completely different. The way I approach tracks, you know, completely different now, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remix and master this song to see if I can make it sound better than the original that's out now. Like... So, here go the hook, right? Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta do it. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta do it. Man, I have my back against the wall. Niggas stop that, I will fall, but nah. I'm a boss and the, them niggas, they ain't liking that. No way, no way. And I just speak real life and raps. All right, so boom. Now, as you can see, I have my wave tune. You feel me? Boom. Still use wave tune, nothing different. And I was using classic chorus to kind of like spread the vocals out and let it like fill out the mix. And I don't use classic chorus no more. I use clay epic to do the same thing. You know what I mean? So I'm going to replace this. I'm going to replace the whole freaking, um, the whole vocal chain. I don't even know what this vocal chain is, but I'm pretty sure it's old. Yeah, it's not. I don't even have a name under this vocal chain. Uh, so I'm going to put my new vocal chain on it. All right. And then we're going to sauce it up like that. All right. So first, let me figure out the key of this track. Because back then, there's a good chance that I was just guessing and I didn't really know. All right. So that's G sharp minor. And then let's see what the keys are. All right, they both G sharp minor. So obviously I was doing something right when I was putting the beat together. <laughs> All right, so and let's see what the auto tune is. Uh, it's G sharp minor. So I was kind of right. I was kind of on the right track. That's good. That's great right there, right? But all right, so let me put a new. Let me put the new chain on there. Um, where is it? This one. All right. See what it sound like. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. All right. Let's put the the wave tune on there. Got my little preset. G sharp minor. And let's see what it sound like. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you got. And I had it turned all the way down for this song. So let's do that. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Man, I have my back against the wall. Niggas stop that, I will fall. But I'm a boss and the... Now, another problem I may have is this BPM, right? Like, I had a bad habit of, like, not setting the BPM correctly. And... As I progressed and I learned, I understood that setting the BPM properly changes everything, especially when you're using stuff like delay, reverb. If your BPM is set properly, it makes it easier to get it to sound right. 
if the BPM is one thing and the track is actually another BPM, when you put the delay on it and stuff, the delay is always going to be in the BPM that the project is set to. So if your project is one BPM and the actual song is another BPM, you could kind of see where you run into issues, right? So I'm not actually 100% sure if the BPM of this song is really 120 because I know that for the longest time, my default setting on Mixcraft was 120. So I was recording every song with the 120 BPM when I shouldn't have, right? So like I said, this was in 2019. Uh, there's no telling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to TuneBet, right? And I'm going to drop the actual track in there and see what the BPM is. The, I'm going I'm to drop the, the finished track in there. And I just want to see the BPM of it. And it may say 120 because I exported it at 120. But I don't think that's right. And I might have to go into... I might have to actually go open the beat and actually see what was the BPM. You know, I actually have to find the song first. I don't know what folder I put it in. This was when I was working on uh, BPM is 140. And it says the key is AB minor. But we just figured out that the key is G sharp minor, right? So, you know, as you can see, it's kind of off. Let me see. AB minor, 140, right? So, boom. So you always want to make sure you change this. So it's G. It's a G sharp, you know what I mean? So I'm just make sure it's on G. And let me see if I can actually open up the beat. Because I should have it, you know. And I just need to see the BPM. Okay, the BPM is 140. So we know that is correct. So the BPM is off, right? It's supposed to be 140. It's 120. Not good. But uh, we could try to make it work. What I'm going to do. See if I could freeze. Um, well, not freeze. Let's see if we can lock everything. If I lock it and change the BPM, what happened? Right, you see how everything moves, right? So like everything's gonna be off. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. See what I mean? So that's why it's important to do it ahead of time, right? You gotta do it before you start recording. Cause if you go try to change your BPM later, everything's gonna be messed up. Alright, so now that we know that we can't do that, you know what I mean? It's fine for the sake of the video, you know, for the sake of the video it's cool. You know, we just got to forgive my younger self. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So we just going to proceed and I just figure it out as I go. All right. So sometimes you got to risk it all. So it's already sounding like the original. Right. So one thing that I said, like I had classic chorus. I don't use classic chorus no more. Um, what I do use is, uh, I use Clay Epic, right? Clay Epic just gives me that that clean uh, delay and reverb. And when I use Clay Epic, I don't even use this delay right here anymore. You can see it's on zero, zero. It's zeroed out. Like, I don't even use it. I just use Clay Epic. And now when I hit play, you're going to hear how kind of the delay and the echo is going to be a little off. And that's because the BPM isn't correct, all right? Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. And not just speak real life and raps. Yeah, so that's all. I ain't gonna do 500. That's kind of too much. Uh, I do 375. Let me see how that sounds. Like, like in that. And not just speak real life and raps. I don't really like that one either. Go up. Uh, 500 was too much. But as you can see, you see what I mean? Like, the delay isn't right because the BPM is wrong, all right? So when you mixing and mastering, you really don't want to solo stuff, but I do, I solo stuff for the sake of like explaining in these videos, you know what I mean? You want to hear it all together, all right? So the only one I've changed so far is the lead vocal. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. All right, so this background vocal. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. You hear how that sound? Sometimes you gotta risk it all. We don't do that no more. You know what I mean? We do not do that anymore, right? And that's really because this classic chorus. I kind of like spread the vocals out super, super thin. And that's not good. We don't do that no more. So if I turn this off. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. You hear? Like it's really the classic chorus that's spreading it out to make it sound like that. 
Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. So if we replace the classic chorus with the clay epic. You know, like I said, that's what I do now. I don't really use um, the classic chorus like that anymore. I use it sometimes. I use it for like a uh, strong word, uh, stuff like that. But classic chorus is one of them things where you can't overdo it because it it can destroy a good thing. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta risk it all. But you hear how cleaner this one sounds. Like the Clay Epic does a better job of doing what I was trying to do with the classic chorus. Like this, the task is the same, but the approach is cleaner and it's more efficient, right? So this sounds better. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. 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 And you put it with the first one. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. 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 And I have my little, um, uh, let's play it all together. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta do it. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Turn it down a little bit because it's the background. Man, I had my back against the wall. Nigga, stop that. I will fall, but I'm a ball. And these are like my ad libs. Sometimes you gotta do it. Now, uh, what I would do is I would put the regular, uh, my regular preset on it. And then I would kind of just bring it to the levels that I wanted. So, sometimes you gotta do it. So I might do that, and then I might throw one of these isotope presets on it, like the phone joint, right? Sometimes you gotta do it. Sometimes you get. And then I just kind of like turn it down to where I want it to be, so you can still hear it, but it's not like overpowering. You know what I mean? So. Sometimes you gotta do it. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta do it. Man, I had my back against the wall. Nigga, stop that, I will fall. But nah. I'm a boss, and uh, them niggas, they ain't liking that. No way, no way. And I just speak real life in raps. I'm from the bottom with half. All right, so, like I said, I don't know what this preset is, but I'm going to replace the old presets with my old. Well, it's this one. A1 Day 1, boy. <laughs> that must be my preset in 2019, you feel me? I tell you, I make new presets every year. Um, uh, this one that I'm using now, I made it like, uh, within the, the fourth quarter of 2021. So I don't, we'll see like during the course of the year, my presets always change. The preset store is going to launch soon. I'm done playing with y'all. I'm going to drop the preset store really soon, bro. I'm done. I've held on to it for so long. And the reason why I've held on it onto it for so long because I was trying to like make it perfect but there's no such thing as perfect I could always like launch the first version and I could like revise it and revamp it like as I need to so I'm gonna go ahead and get y'all this preset store real soon I'm done playing with y'all I got a lot of presets I'm gonna let y'all have it you feel me so I just changed this all right so the verse is gonna sound a little different it's gonna sound a little brolic now because you know my my approach is different i'm from the bottom where half the niggas don't make it out a bunch of god's children running around in satan's house i didn't even have a strong words what was i doing back then bro i'm from the bottom where half the niggas don't make it out a bunch of god's children running around in satan's house should never settle like we tend to do grip the wheel trying, trying to make, make a quick 10 and, ten and two. 2 whole family eating that's that shit that do. I adapted, baby. I've been a fool. Was giving jewels. Could I ice my neck, but I broke them down to give to you. All right, let me go to the second verse. See what it sounded like. Truth is, are these ad libs or strong words? Move. Make sure you say your grace. Those are strong words, but I got an ad lib preset on it. What was I doing back then? I don't know. All right, so my strong word these days, I use this one. All right, so move. Make sure you say your grace. They laugh. It's nice and subtle, but it still adds, like, you know, an extra emphasis to whatever words I decide to strong word, you know, so. Move, make sure you say your grace. They laughing now, but when we eating, they gon' wanna play. When you say nah, then there comes the hate, the love is fake. 
Everybody down, swear they all in. Ask them to put in some work they wanna call in. Skip practice, now hands out, cause you ballin'. Choosing rapping was a risk, but I'm all in, I'm all in. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta do it. All right, so, you know, I changed, you know, the presets. I did things how I would do it these days. And the number one thing I got to change is the master track. And guess what? In 2019, me being me, there was no master. I didn't, this was just a, it was just a mix. I didn't master. I wasn't fully aware of the importance of the mastering step. You know, I, I told y'all I used to skip it. And here's proof. There's no master effects on here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my master. I'm gonna add my master uh, preset to it. You know, master master right here. And then I just go in here and tweak it. So you'll be able to hear a difference though, right? And I'll I'll show you the difference and play you the difference. Y'all know how I go. Truth is, you won't make it if you play it safe. Before you make a move, make sure you say your grace. They laughing now, but when we eating, they gon' wanna play. When you say nah, then there comes the hate, the love is fake. Everybody down, swear they all in. Ask them to put in some work, they wanna call in. Skip practice, now hands out, cause you ball in. Choosing rapping was a risk, but I'm all in, I'm all in. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you. Alright, with that right there, I didn't want. I didn't want the compression to jump above four. You know, I've taught this in like prior mixing mastering videos, but this might be your first time watching a mixing mastering video from me. So I want to kind of, you know, give you the same information I would have gave you in other videos. All right, so boom. Um, I got my Kramer tape, you know, and what I do is Kramer tape, they got, they got like some presets. So I go to the mastering and then I do clean and open. And then I turn the noise all the way off. You feel me? Cause it, you can hear the noise. You hear when I turn it up? You turn the noise all the way off. You don't need, we don't want no noise. You know what I mean? So we turn that all the way off. No noise, right? And then I got my ozone, right? But, you know, ozone has an equalizer, imager, maximizer. Only thing I'm using is the imager because I'm just trying to, like, spread the track out a little bit more. And uh, I don't go above 25. So anywhere from 0 to 25 is cool. It's all based on the track. So I'm going to play it. And kind of see um, where I want it at, you know. So let's play it. Raps. Truth is, you won't make it if you play it safe. Before you make a move, make sure you say your grace. They laughing now, but when we eating, they gon' wanna play. When you say nah, then there comes the hate. The love is fake. Everybody down. As you can see, the 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 uh, the hook is very spread out, and that's because the clay epic and uh yeah the clay epic and i took the classic chorus off so it's really the clay epic so really what you want to do is you want to do most of the widening and spreading out in the process process while you're mixing you don't want to wait till you get to the mastering to spread everything out because yeah it's kind of gonna mess up everything and kind of take away from the track you want to do that in the mixing process right very important right so what i'm doing is i'm just adding a little bit more to it i'm not trying to overdo it so as you can see, when I hit play on the hook, this graph right here, this graph, this is kind of like giving you an idea of how wide it is. And then the hook is very wide, you'll see, right? So let's play. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Sometimes you gotta risk it all. Right, so I did a good job widening it already, right? And then the hook is kind of like in the middle. I mean, the verses are kind of in the middle, like where they should be, right? So truth is, you won't make it if you play it safe before you make a move make sure you say your grace they you know and every time the strong words come in it kind of spreads it out a little more because the strong words that's what they do they fill out the mix right so i'm just gonna leave that on 10 and then i have my master limiter and i kind of like finalize the you know uh the master volume that i wanted at right so truth is you won't make it if you play it safe before you make a move Make sure you say your grace. They laughing now, but when we eating, they gon' wanna play. When you say nah, then there comes the hate. The love is fake. Now I don't mind having it hitting like the negative, like the the one. I don't mind that at all. I just don't want it hitting like two and three, 
consistently because then you start to realize your mix and master is like way too loud like like i told y'all i mix for clarity not loudness i could really juice this up and have it hitting like two every now and then to really push it but i don't even try to push it i mix for clarity and that's pretty much it all right so boom here you have it this is like uh i'm gonna save this as uh risk it all 2.0 right 2.0 now I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna mix this one down, and then I want to play both side by side, so you can kind of like uh, get an idea of how my approach has changed and like the overall effect it has on the track. Another thing I want to show y'all before we get out of Mixcraft for good on this video is uh I'm gonna turn off the master chain and turn it back on so you could hear the difference of like the importance of like mastering. All right, so like the mix probably sounds good but that master really brings everything together and like gives your song that final push that it really needs, right? So I want everybody to understand the importance of that. It's all taking forever, 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 ever, forever, ever. It's all taking forever, boy. All right, so boom, let me give y'all this like demonstration. All right, so here's the master chain, right? So I'm gonna play without it, right? Boom, this is, I'm turning it off. Without it, here you go. Truth is, you won't make it if you play it safe. Before you make a move, make sure you say your grace. They laughing now, but when we eating, they gon' wanna play. When you say nah, then there comes the hate, the love is fake. Alright, now you hear that. Now turn it on. Truth is, you won't make it if you play it safe. Before you make a move, make sure you say your grace. They laughing now, but when we eating, they gon' wanna play. When you say nah, then there comes the hate, the love is fake. Everybody down, swear they all in. Ask them to put in some work, they wanna call in. All right, y'all hear the difference, all right? Now, for the final test. I don't even know if it's gonna be a big difference, but we about to see, I really don't know. I'm gonna play the version that's out, and then we're gonna play the version I just did. But like I said, this song is out right now. Y'all can go stream it. It's uh, King Buzz featuring KD for real. Risk it all. We got 2.0, then we got the first version, right? So here you go. Man, I have my back against the wall. Sometimes you gotta do it. Man, I have my back against the wall. Nigga, stop that, I will fall. But nah. I'm a boss and uh, them niggas, they ain't liking that. No way, no way. And I just speak real life in raps. I'm from the bottom where half the niggas don't make it out. A bunch of God's children running around in Satan's house. Should never settle like we tend to do. Grip the wheel, trying to make a quick 10 and 2. Alright, that's the regular version. This is a new version. Sometimes you gotta do it. Man, I have my back against the wall. Nigga, stop that, I will fall. But nah. I'm a boss, and uh, them niggas, they ain't liking that. No way, no way. And I just speak real life in raps. I'm from the bottom where half the niggas don't make it out. A bunch of God's children running around in Satan's house. Should never settle like we tend to do. Grip the wheel, trying to make a quick 10 and 2. Whole family eating, that's that shit that women do. All right, so like, I can definitely hear a difference, you know. Um, yeah, it might not be like the biggest difference, but there's definitely a difference because there's always room for improvement, right? And this is what this video is really showing. Like, it, it might be something like minor, you know. It might not be the biggest difference, but there is a difference, though. You feel me? Like, it's cleaner, crispier, more, you know, um, straight to the point, um, the goal I had in mind was uh, achieved in a, a better way. You know what I mean? Like, the song still sounds the same because when I made the song, that's how I wanted it to sound. But the quality of what I just did is just a little better. You know what I mean? So, yeah, there you have it, man. I just remix and mastered the old song from 2019. That's actually out now. Um, and, uh, yeah, you go check it out. You feel me? Run that up for me. Uh, I got a new song dropping every Monday, so there's another song coming next Monday. But until next Monday, run this one up. You feel me? Yeah, comment down below, uh, you know, if you could hear a difference. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch y'all next time, man. We'll keep growing. We'll keep going strong. Y'all know what's going on. It's your boy, King Buzz. 
and I'm out of here. Yeah.